All right, so let's look at circles. In circles, what do we know about the radius and the tangent? If I've got a radius and a tangent that intersect, they're always perpendicular, so that is a right angle. If I've got a right triangle and I want to find the hypotenuse, I just use Pythagorean theorem. I'm looking for the hypotenuse. I have the two legs, so I'm just going to add. So 15 squared plus 20 squared equals x squared. So I've got 225 plus 400 equals x squared. So 625 equals x squared. And then I square root both sides to find x, so x is 25. Pretty simple. It's all Pythagorean theorem. All right, for the next one, I've got two tangents. They're tan if two tangents are tangent to the same circle, they're equal. Okay, those two tangents are equal, so 3x plus 4 is equal to 36. I'm going to subtract 4, so 3x equals 32. I divide by 3. I divide by 3, so I get 10.3, which is the same as 10 and 2 thirds. And that's it. So anytime you have two tangents, two segments that are tangent, they're congruent. Okay, let's look at this next one. Here's the same idea with the tangents. This tangent and this tangent are the same tangent to the same circle. So if this is 12, that's 12. All right, now I've got another pair of tangents. I have this tangent and this tangent here. So if that's six, that's six. I've got another pair of tangents that are tangent to the same circle. If that's four, that's four. And then my last pair of tangents, this is the same as this. So if that's eight, that's eight. So to find my perimeter, which is just the distance around the outside of the figure, I have 12 plus 12 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6. So if I add all these together, I have 12 and 8 is 20, 12 and 8 is 20, that's 40, 48, and 12 is 60. So that's your perimeter. Again, that's using the properties of tangents. Okay. Now let's go to some of the other circle stuff. All right, when you're looking at the circles, right here it says Rn and Qm are diameters. Why does it tell us that? When it tells us that they are diameters, we know that we've got semicircles because the diameter cuts the circle in half. We've got semicircles. Now remember, the arc is the same measure as the central angle. So for example, if that's 35, arc QR has to be 35. Okay? Now since this is a diameter and this is a diameter, that means they cut the circle in half. So this whole arc right here has to add up to what? 180. So to find this one, I do 180 minus 35 and I end up getting 145. So this arc is 145, which means this angle is also 145. Okay? Let's look at the other sides. Whoops. Now, this angle and this angle are vertical, so that means that's 35, and so is that. So NM is 35 degrees. And then Oops, that's 35. This is 90, so this is 90. So PQ is 90 degrees. And then to find the last one, to find uh, NMQ, we're going to start at N, go through M, and go all the way through Q. I add them together, 35 plus 145 plus 35, and you get 215 degrees. And this is a major arc, and these are minors. Remember, a major arc is an arc that has a measure greater than 180 degrees. Okay, so let's look at these. Let's try to finish these up. Number 13, when you have two chords intersect, their products are equal. Piece times piece equals piece times piece. So this chord, 
12 times 6 equals this chord 4 times x. So now you're just going to solve it. So 12 times 6 is 72 equals 4x. I divide both sides by 4 and x is equal to 18. So that means that this piece is 18. Chords, piece times piece equals piece times piece. All right, let's look at the next one. When two secant segments intersect the same circle, the products are outside times total equals outside times total. Part to whole, part to whole. So these are secants. They touch the uh, circle in two places. So 6 times 6 plus x is going to equal 8 times 8 plus 10, which is what? 18. So now I'm going to solve this one. So I'm going to distribute 36 plus 6x equals 8 times 18, which is 80 and 64, which is 144. I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. So 6x equals 108. And then I divide both sides by 6. So x is going to equal 18. It just happens to equal 18 again. Two in a row for 18. So 6 times 24 equals 8 times 18, which is what works. Okay? And that is for two secants. Outside total, outside total. All right, let's look at a secant and a tangent. When you have a tangent and a secant, outside times total equals the tangent squared. So, 4 times 4 plus x, which is the whole thing. Oh, you'd probably like to see what I'm doing, wouldn't you? There we go. Equals 6 squared. Okay? Because you're squaring the tangent to make it e the outside times whole equals squared. So distribute. So 16 plus 4x equals 36. Subtract 16. So 4x equals 20. Divide by 4. So x equals 5. And again, we're just hitting all these circle properties because it's been a while since we've done these. Okay, So that's the circle properties with the arcs and the segments.